Welcome back, guys. We are here today in our fifth model. So we're going to be talking about the treatment workflow. So remember, we are in a very nice uh, spot on, on our coaching program because you can already start to implement all the other steps, okay? So don't wait. You don't need to wait to do all the seven steps and then you're going to do your first change, okay? So you definitely need to start to invest and in starting to train your team, starting to make some remodeling or talking with the, your, your partnership, whatever. It's a process, okay? That usually take the six to one year to implement all the seven steps, okay? And remember, all this training is unlimited for all your staffs as well. So as long as you are doing, you know, your staff supposed to be doing as well. Okay, so you guys are going to be connect everybody in the same page, everybody in the same boat, and then you guys going to go in the same directions. Okay, so today we're going to be here and this, I love this, this part of the training because it's literally when we need, you know, to, to, to shift our business sometimes for a different directions. Of course, we're going to do it step by step as well. But it's definitely the way to go. And we are going to share how we are doing this and then and, and, and how the patient workflow, treatment workflow can be a little bit different than the way you are doing nowadays. Okay? So let's start. Think about the problem. Okay? If, if we are here today, if you're watching me here, and usually you are already like a 0.05% of your orthodontists or the dentists in the entire world so far, because most of people, you know, always, they are trying to resolve the problems in the same way, okay? They, they just don't stop and thinking. So the digital practice of tomorrow is, is a solution that... We develop, it's not develop, was created based upon and solutions for our industry problems or for our how to be more productive or how, how to listen more our patients. So the digital practice of tomorrow is the result of the last literally 10 years of, of uh, training or talking and teaching and studying the market, studying the process. And we just put all together here for you. So it's, it's literally priceless. You know, you get all these information in a compact way and you can be, you know, you, you don't, you, know, you are right there, you know, sit down in your home on your own practice. So you didn't have to do like I did, like travel probably half of the world to try to understand what is going on and, and try to adapt and test most of the thing I'm talking here it's 100% tested, and, and that's what we are doing, and a lot of people are doing the same way as well. This is another thing. It's funny because a lot of people that did um, the coaching program with Ortho I, they, they literally um, changed the way they are working. Some of them even created their own um, digital labs, some of them. Some of them already sold the physical practice, and they are working with only the cloud practice. Some of them open a consulting company and some of them even has a, has a, a mini clear aligner company and they are delivery aligner services or even the, a mini Invisalign company for his own area. So it's amazing how awesome is the digital orthodontics the way we use. So we are here to solve the right problem. That's what I'm saying. People, and, and it's all about clear aligners today. They think that's the largest revolution we have now. And I'm telling you, the large revolution we have now is not the clear aligners. I told you before, the clear aligner systems, they are like old school. This is was back in 2000. That was the revolution. So it had been past 20 years, two decades. And now the next big thing or the thing that is very changing is the orthodontics is going to the cloud, okay? And our practice is going to the cloud. Our patience is going to the cloud. 
everything you know, like the food industry, car industry, every healthcare too as well. So, and that's why we are here. And that's the focus of the digital products that you marry. We are sharing with you guys here. And the problem is, that's what I'm saying, is not the process of the clear aligners. A lot of people try to save money, you know, oh, now I'm printing my own uh, models. So I bought a 3D printing, so I resolved the problem because now I'm gonna save more money on, on lab fees. You know, and most of the donors they think on that. Oh no, no! Now that I change the process, I'm gonna use um, some um, free softwares or ULab or whatever you try to do, and you save a few bucks, and then you say, oh, now I, I, I had a solution, and uh, and I'm I'm back on the market, and I'm gonna compete with them, right? That's where you're thinking wrong. You know, most of the problems, most of the solutions. They are not where the problem is, okay? We need to understand that the problem is a lot bigger when, when how to deliver or to control the biomechanics with the aligners. You know, you need to see that our patient's behavior is changed, you know, and we need to be convenient, not only for them as for us as well. So, that's why when I say the cloud practice, we say, think again, it's a cloud-based practice with a remote orthodontist, you know, and, and this is the final results. So how are we gonna do all this transition to get, you know, 100% um, cloud practice if you want, or to combine, like I said, your conventional practice with some, I would say, cloud practice capabilities. So you are in this transition phase. And that's why, again, we are here and sharing all this. Can be news for some of you guys or, or how this process can be done and, and why we are doing all that. Okay, so you guys are in this transition phase. and. And back to our treatment workflow is the same way. You know, I don't want to the extremes that you're never going to see the patient anymore, you know, and, and then we're going to do everything uh, remotely. Or are you going to see your patients every month again? You know, they need to go in your practice every day. So the extremes is, is not the solution as well. Some, some, you can see some companies direct to consumer, they're trying some way you know, even skip the orthodontist. And we know that this, this is a very limited treatment. So we need to take advantages of the way are they are doing. We learn actually, maybe you don't know, this is another good one. Maybe you don't know, you know, how preview the future, but we know how to avoid, you know, the mistakes that other people are doing. Okay, that's the best way, you know, to, to do the future. It's starting to avoid the mistakes that the other companies or other markets are doing. So we know this already. So we use this experience that direct to consumer has, you know, in clear aligning treatments. And then we adapt to our ortho eye treatment workflow. And then we combine it and make the best of the two systems, the best of these two worlds you know, the conventional orthodontics practice with this new cloud, you can call cloud practice or, or virtual practice, whatever you wanna call, okay? We call our to high cloud practice, okay? So let's move on. And now let's sit down here and I'm gonna get closer to you. Don't be scared. I'm gonna get my seat. And here we are again, so don't be scared. You can drink your water too and uh, get ready to take some notes or something. And we are gonna start to just review, you know, our first approach, right? We already said uh, the virtual first appointment. So how are you usually gonna work the patient workflow? So far, that's probably you are doing. You have a patient seeking for orthodontic treatments. He go to the internet, to the web or whatever. He got a referral 
from some other patients, and then they are going to set up a virtual consultation. They are going to do your first appointment online. And then after that, he's going to start the treatment and he go to do his first in-person appointment. And so far from them, you're going to have a comprehensive exams, and then they're going to meet the team, do a tour in your practice, get the fee payments, and start. Okay? So this is the must for some of you guys. Oh, no, that's what I'm doing. First appointment online, and then they, they came, they send the pictures, and then my coordinator talked with them and show, share the screen, show simulations, and they love it. When they start, they get in my practice, they're going to start. Perfect. That's it. That's if you are doing that, that's the very good start, you know. But this is just the beginning. We have done this for many, many years. Now you're gonna see that we can go to the next level, that you're gonna have uh, two different protocols. Okay, you're gonna have one patient, the treatment workflow, you know, that you're gonna have that patient that he's still going in your office, like we just mentioned, during the follow-up consultations, appointments. You know, so, but we're going to have another type of patients that we call at home patients, that's that we call at home clear aligners. We call at home patients because you're going to see that it's, it's the same concept, but with, when the orthodontist is in the control and we are delivering great results as good as we do when the patients are in our patients. That's what we're going to do. That, that way we are thinking, you know, we stop, see how they are doing, say we can do the same, but better. Okay, so that's what we did. So in at office protocol, so the first thing you're going to do, because the patients, they are going to go a few times in your practice during the entire treatments. So you guys, the first transition that you're going to do it, it's combine a few virtual appointments with the conventional in-person attractants. The thing is, how to do that? Some of you guys probably say, Adriana, I'm starting to do that. It's awesome. But some of my patients, they don't want, or I don't know, you know, how, when I do virtual points or not, or how to start, you know, we already said in the first, if you are just remembering, try to follow all the steps, but we explain how you need to prepare the, 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 what, how to, to work on, on what the patient is expecting in your treatments. So this is the way you go and, and, and you're going to inform before perform. Remember all that? So, but we, of course, to make this transition easy, you know, we just combine in five different elements. Like this is our, you know, the way I like to, to share my knowledge. You know, so that's why we are, have a very compact training and I always group them. I group the elements in some way that make it easier for you to take notes or, or for you reproducing your own practice. Okay, so the five key elements of this hybrid in person and virtual treatments, I divide in five elements and we are going to talk about all of them from now on, one by one. The first one is the patient selections. So every patient is a candidate for this type of hybrid workflow. Yes, on these selections, every patient can be offered. You can offer for every new start that uh, you can make a few virtual appointments. Different than on the past, that you just offer virtual appointments during the lockdown, during the COVID-19 situation, or when the patient lives in another city, country, or state. But from now on, this is your protocol. Remember, you have you prepare, you know, you, your practice, your virtual practice, like we said, even intelligent room you have, even a system, you have softwares, you have platforms, you have staffs training to do that. You have a cloud practice and you need to offer them this new option of supervision. Okay. And that's why we are going to show, I'm going to show the, the workflow when we do that. And sometimes you can do just one or twice during the 
entire treatment, you know, virtual appointments, or sometimes you can very systematic, you know, see the patient every other um, appointments you do virtually. So half of the appointments will be virtual and half of the appointments will be in person. Okay, so patient selection, yes, from now on is not just a few of them. You can create this protocol and after with the time, every patient will be a candidate for this type of supervision, okay? Malocclusion, so far is the same because you are still seeing the patients. You know, you're still seeing the patients. So can be any type of malocclusion, even surgical case. I had a patient that you literally, we were doing some canine traction, you know, so, and, um, of course, we have a different protocols. We work at TMA cantilever, so it wasn't elastic. I don't need to replace all the time, you know, but you can use TEDs as well. But the patient was living literally in Brasilia, another state, you know, and they come, you know, once every two, three months, you know. So it's amazing how you can control. Actually, they come every other month, you know, but it's still, you know, some of the appointments we did virtually. So you, it's not just for an aligner case. Like I said, even surgical case that we combine very well aligners. So they just come for the first, put the, put the attachments, talk with the surgeon because we were in the same cities and they go back, use all the pre-orthodontics phase, surgical phase with the aligners. That's why I love the digital plan in this way because I already do my, I would say, um, the protocol like the surgery before, you know, uh, before orthodontics, so surgery first that we call, and, uh, but I simulate, and then I just on, and I, I preview all the, probably the occlusal content, how we're gonna be the final occlusion after the surgery, you know, before orthodontics treatment. So my planning is very precise and pre-surgical. And I do it sometimes with the aligner that I just move enough to patient go to the surgery. So usually sometimes it's like a couple of months, two, three months, and they are doing the surgery already, you know? So is there is so many ways, every type of case selections, you can take advantage, okay, of this hybrid patient workflow that we are talking here. But the appliancement too, like I said, can be fixed appliance and can be, uh, you can work with TED, you can, of course, the clear aligners is the most indicated. So we do the hybrid treatment. Sometimes you can put just on the bottom, you know, fix appliance and the aligners on the top. There is many way you can combine because in this protocol we are sharing here, you know, you are gonna see your patients a few times per year. Okay, put in mind that usually, I, I work with like uh, when I was living in Europe and my practice was in Brazil, I used to say like I work with the seasons and the year seasons. So winter, fall, uh, spring and summer. So I see them on the summer, on the spring, you know, and uh, in person and all the other appointments, literally I was doing virtual because every two months we had uh, some type of supervision. Okay, so I think it's getting clear how you can integrate, you know, and a few important messages I'm sharing here with you guys. Like I said, the activation, so how often we're gonna do that, depend on the case as well. You can use the protocol of, like I said, four times a year, if you want, they go in your practice, it's pretty convenient for, for most of the patients, even that patients, they are living in the same city. Sometimes they don't want to go all the time. They have three, four kids, you know, but some other patients, you're going to see it that they love. Some moms, they love to go in the practice because sometimes it's, they, they, they say, okay, it's like a babysitter for them. You know, they staff, so they have a few minutes to do a few things or it's right there next to her house, so she, she wants to make sure the patients um, are brushing the teeth or using the aligners, so says that that's why I'm paying you, so you need to give all the supervision. To, you say, of course, you are definitely right, and that's why we are here to help you.
you know. So this is patient that you literally, maybe you're gonna do once or another virtual appointments, okay? And, but some other patients, um, they are very candidate because they are, maybe they are adult treatments or the mom is the opposite. They have five, six kids. So if you save her one appointment, you're gonna save her a lot of time and money, okay? So with the time your staff is and you guys are gonna learn to introduce it and when to be convenient and when not and to be inconvenient, okay? And depends on also the activation of your treatment phase you are. If you have extraction case, you know, or you're doing RPE or you have face no mask or topedic appliances or surgical, you are gonna dance with the music, okay? So sometimes the treatment phase will be in charge to decide when you're gonna see the patients or not, okay? That's why clear aligners and you're gonna see our at-home patient workflow, when you work 100% clear aligners is the best way to remote control your patients, you know? But like I said, you need to be convenient for every patient from now on, you know? And, uh, and this is the best way, remember, sometimes to save money or to get a different patients, you know, is offering something that you were not offering so far, okay? So this is on the, the best way, you know, to starting this transition phase, okay? Clinical monitoring. This is another thing that we need to stop and, and, and think, you know, what is the ideal and, and, and what I need to do to get the ideal. The ideal, of course, is your patients and you use like a dental monitor, you can virtual care app, or every system now they have an app that you can upload a few pictures. You know, there is like videos, you can see how they're gonna have like the cheek, cheek retractor, take the on patient's device, mobile phone. There are so many different ways to do the clinical monitors. And then you're gonna have the pictures, okay? And you're gonna just decide if you're checking the tracking, is everything right or not, you know? And the ideal is to have once a month, right? Right. And the ideal actually you have like um, artificial intelligence software that you're gonna, you know, superpose you, what it was planning for and also what the clinical pictures are. And he's gonna tell you what is going on and if you need to see the patients and how often you need the patients until you, you get a lot of your patients or monitor clinical monitoring all of them you know and uh, literally you're going to have a treatment workflow i would say by demand patients just go to your practice when the software tell that they need to go to your practice okay so that's the ideal that's what we want for our every patient and, and def definitely this is the way to go the thing is you know when we go back to reality you know, is not the same thing. We know it, you know, some patients, they don't want to send the pictures all the time. So there is this clinical monitoring or sometimes I would say just appointment monitoring. They are a little bit different. So I would start like with, when I say appointment monitoring, sometimes is we are doing like we are doing right now is, is just a video conference. When you talk with the patient, you can share the screen you're gonna see is the first way to start is just sharing maybe um, their digital plan, you know, from the, the, the clean aligner system software and before the after, you know, or because you are not on the practice or you are on the practice or your patient is outside, he wanna get more information, you know, because he just ran over there, took the impressions and he wanna see some patients, they are more picky, they wanna see whatever. So are the, are the parents, they are not there. There is so many different situations that you can use, you know, the video conference call and talk with the patients, okay? So we start with that, I'm saying, the monitoring, the, the supervision will be with uh, almost like an in-person, but you talk with the patients and they have their aligners. You say, are you wearing everything okay? You have a few questions to do, you know? And uh, if it's everything okay, sometimes they even don't send any pictures. 
okay? So, of course, those were gonna be for our fixed appliances, you know, because it's if it says everything okay, and then you say, well, it's everything okay. You don't lose in tracking or anything, you know, or for easy cases that you barely has attachments or, or AP corrections. So literally it's just asking how it's going. And then you can do this, you know, every two, three months, almost depends on how often you're changed the aligners, okay? So to summarize that, the clinical monitoring, yes, is important. And I will show in the next slide that how is our protocol and how often we see it. But remember, starting doing the monitoring, just giving attention. Remember, attention is the new currency. The patient love attention. That's what they want. Okay, if you have a very good planning, a very clear alignment system, you just are gonna do the monitoring, the treatment, and later on you start to integrate it. They start to send the pictures as well, and then I like every two months they send the pictures. Okay, let's let's just review everything I said. It's just right here. So how are we gonna do the follow up? Okay, so the patient went over there because this is the hybrid workflow. So, and they have an in-person, he did the, the first consultation. He can even do virtual, but he needs to go there to get the, the 3D scan. They went to, and to make the payments and approve the insurance and, and everything. So once you are that, of course, you're gonna upload the system and then you have the digital plan uh, and work with the digital technician. And then you did the simulation, approved stage models, and then they started the aligner production, okay? So after 10 days, usually they are gonna come back and you are gonna start with IPR and attachments in those cases, or put the brackets on, and then you have the clear aligner and patient orientation and you get start, okay? So the, the next one, look over here, the next one, pay attention is a very good way to start with virtual consultation for every patient. Just the first one, after you, you put the brackets, you say, we are gonna do like a, a virtual appointment. I wanna check how is everything you can do after 10 weeks or wait X, you know, and then if they have wire sometimes, it's the times that have a night tie round wire. So you just let go sometime for four months. So you just need to see him once. You know, and the aligners as well, because the aligners in the beginning is very hard to lose track in the beginning. So it's the time to let go. You just, just let cook, let go. And, and then you do a virtual appointments. That's systematic. You can do on all them, okay? You use a very sophisticated platform if you want, or even use like a simple uh, platforms that the clear aligner systems offer through mobile, or even work with Messenger or WhatsApp and Zoom meetings, it's totally enough to start, okay? After that, if you have this, the patient's gonna come back to activate it, to get more aligners sometimes, and then you're gonna check everything is okay, and then you're gonna do again. So that's, you send the patients back to home, and that's the way I like to do. I like it just to see once, one time person and one time in person and one time virtually, okay? And then you keep moving away the same until the end of the treatments, okay? Or, you know, you can do this supervision when the patients uh, go there. If also you always gonna scan the patients, that's what I'm saying, depend how complex is the case, depend, and then how often you're gonna see, we go back to our activation. That's gonna be very important to decide, you know, how often you need to see the patients in person. The important thing is that you are prepared, you know, to offer this hybrid workflow in person and virtual. And on the end is the same way. Once you approve, remove the brackets or you just scan again and do some refinancing when you need. But you're gonna see with the time, we are doing less and less refinement. So it's awesome because the system has got more predictable and we are actually learning more how to use 
you know, it's not that only the system is getting better, but we are, like I'm saying, even protocols, when to see, when not to see, what to do the changes, you know. Sometimes, like I said, you know, the solution is not when the problem, the problem wasn't the aligners. Sometimes the solution, you know, is in how we're going to use the aligners the right way and manage all that. And you're going to have a better results. Like I said, how you manage it, the, your agenda and appointments in virtual is fundamental for what type of results you're going to have on the end. Okay. And now we are going to go to our other type of treatment workflow. And probably some of you guys are not doing this yet. Some of you guys even criticize that you probably are going to send some aligners straight for the patient's house, you know, but believe me, we are just changing the delivery way. Okay, it's a cloud practice, like I said, it's a cloud kitchen, it's the same food, you know, sometimes that you get in the restaurants, you're going to get, you know, in your home, it's just the delivery method is changing, that's what you guys understand that cloud practice orthodontics can be do as, as at home aligner as well with the same efficiency with the same quality control that we can do, how you can do that, how to deliver great results, you know, and customer support and client support and supervision 100% remotely. So the patient's never going to go in your practice. Is that possible? And yes, you're going to see is that possible. And like I said, we can do like everybody's doing, but we are going to do right to the right way oh so let's move on and again now i'm gonna be straightforward with these five key elements you know but it's not for the hybrid workflow but for at home patients so inform before perform our patients need to know that for these treatments they don't need to go back or your practice, or they never need to be in your practice. So in your first consultation, of course, will be virtually because the patient is going to be sometimes a thousand of miles, kilometers from your practice, some of them. And then you're going to say, yes, we can start your treatments. I'm going to show the protocol, how we do this in those patients. Or some of patients actually sometimes they just did a treatment, uh, orthodontist treatment with you before 10 years ago, and he has some relapse and, and you just need, you know, five, six aligners to fix that. So literally you can produce in your house and send for the patient's house. They don't need to come back, you know, or even sometimes you have the last STL file, the last model, you can work on that. You know, you say you don't need even to come over here or you have already the Vivera planning. So you say, okay, just ship to me. Or if you know some of the companies, they can ship straight for the patient. So you don't need to be shipping, you know, your liner box for everywhere. They ship straight for the company. That's why I said, just make sure you work with the, the a very modern process delivery method, the aligner company, so they can float the, the way you need. So see how amazing is that? You know, some of the patients, it's, it's just a relapse. You are controlling everything. And you definitely need to educate the patients that you are in control, you know, and that's the way to go, you know. Doctor training. So patient education is the first thing. Doctor training is the other thing because the doctor not only to need to manage the first appointment in those cases and tell that, uh, hey, chill out, you know, we are be on control, you know, we are going to be on control, you, I'm going to take care of you in the same way, look at me, like I'm, I'm taking care of you, your education, you're learning with me, and I will have a time for you talk with me, you know, so that is a very interesting way to get yourself updated, and, you know? So it's the same way we are doing right now. Or are, are you feeling some confident to be this treatment? You know, you say, yes, I'm, I'm getting the information that I need, you know, so far, 
and then we are going to have a hybrid education method as well. So, and even sometimes if you need, you guys can come, you know, to Texas and we have some advanced in treatments, not treatments, advanced in training as well in person. That's what I'm saying. We combine all the tools to offer doctors from the entire world get this and all the new technology in digital orthodontics. That's r i has been doing the last 20 years. Okay, so doctor training, you know, when we, they are working with the staging models or the planning need to be a little bit different sometimes because you not, you're not gonna use attachments or IPR in some of those cases because you're not seeing the patients. So you need to slow down, you know, your tooth movement or speed up, try to avoid a lot of group type of movements together, you know, so you don't lose your tracking. So sometimes you're gonna add the three, four more aligner stages. So you make sure that you're gonna do intrusion or extrusion rotations in a different uh, time, you know, so you're not losing tracking, you know. And in those cases, I always recommend uh, you work with a uh, straight line trimming on the aligners. So because you're going to have uh, less flexibility in those cases that you don't have the, the uh, attachments and you're going to have more plastic touching, you know, um, the, the tooth surface. So you're going to have more control mainly on when you're talking about torques. So in those cases, avoid the scallop. Most of the systems today you can choose. You know, you say, I want a one millimeter trimming, I want a scallop, or I want a three millimeter, you know, uh, trimming on my aligners on the top, and I want a scallop on the bottom. So that's what I'm saying. It's so cool, all this system that you can have this control. You know, just make sure you work with the right system. You know, that's why with the time, even in Visalign, I stopped using them much, you know, because they are too much systematic and I couldn't break, you know, the process, like I'm saying, in, in every single way to adapt for this new world, you know. So that is something that I'm sure most of people are doing the same way. They are looking for different solutions or combine even one more sol aligner solution like we did with the brackets in the same way, different system of brackets, you know, or different type of wires, uh, anyways, or different labs is totally normal. You know, just I'm sure you guys are doing and thinking in the same way. Case selection is a little bit different, okay? Because case selection is not for every malocclusion anymore. Not at all. Like I said, it's from relapse cases, it's class one malocclusions when you don't need rubber bands, when you don't have a very large rotation because it's not good to be refinement and how they're gonna send uh, the data again. So literally for a minor movement, and you know that, and uh, that uh, is something that you don't have a, like a deep by very severe or an open by skeletal problem, surgical cases, you, in those situations, definitely you're going to do the hybrid um, treatment workflow, okay? Uh, so that's what I'm saying. Yes, we, we know we can do that, you know, even in visa line, treating millions and millions of patients, you know, without attachments, you know, early in the beginning of the company. We know that we work, work really well. We know that when we produce in-house aligners, they form some minimal movements, the plastics, you know, and even the software doesn't make a lot of difference, you know, because it's a minor movement. So you're gonna get the results. You're gonna get the results you want. Most important that aligner, I'm saying system product of pay expensive, on the system or try to avoid, you know, I know I want to produce, I want to avoid. No, you know, you can just upload and tell the company to send the, the aligners for you and you just do the monitoring, you know. So it's amazing how you don't focus on the problem, focus on the solution, you know, that you want, okay. So the case selection is very important for that you have uh, a successive at home type of treatments so far. Okay. With the time, we are the system, line system is getting better and better. And then we can, I will change 
my protocol. That's why you, you do this type of treatment and, and of coaching program. And later on, we offer, I'm um, say like a recycle, you know, um, consultations, video calls that we can do once a year, twice a year. And then we keep, you know, monitoring your business and, or you keep yourself updating, you know, um, it's uh, the best way to have a consulting company working with you by distance, okay? So yes, I do recommend aligners only, okay? So it's a lot better so far. You don't have a, to lose a bracket or a wire poking in the, the cheek. So there is so many ways. Uh, it's so convenient to work with aligners. And also because you can... Uh, make sure that you're delivering the right type of movement, you know, in every stage. So there is no risk to over move teeth or breaking something. So aligners is very cool in this way. Okay. And the remote monitoring here, you're going to see that is not as important as on the hybrid because it's not a long treatment. So that's why a lot of companies, you know, they literally don't have any type of remote monitoring at all, these direct to consumers, aligners, historic of shop or whatever. So they literally deliver you use and that's it. Okay. So we try, of course, to give this attention they need. They need to know who you are, because most of these direct-to-consumer companies, they don't know the orthodontist. They know there is orthodontist team behind or email support or even call, phone call support, but they don't know the orthodontist. That's why it's very important, like I said, your welcome video or here, they know you are there. That's the most important thing. Sometimes they don't even want to talk to you, but they want to know that if they have some problem, they can talk to you or they can come back after five years, you know, and know where you are, you know, that's the beauty, the thing. So that's why we need to, to show, you know, what we have, that we are in control. We are just being convenient for them. Okay. So yes, you're going to work with the same platform or remote monitoring. You can even use the clinical monitoring. But most important of this is to make the patients know that you're going to be there for them, okay? So, yes, for those, if you started to increase a lot of at-home patients, type of treatments, I can say, I don't say even at home for the patients. I say like 100% virtual supervision or full supervision. Start to work with a lot cooler these names, you know, at home aligners, it's kind of weird. So you just say like a full supervision and we're going to be here. So you want a full supervision, virtual supervision or partial uh, supervision, you know, so we are working in, in this way. So there is in your own language, there is all so many cool ways to work uh, this communication. But yes, I like it to have exclusively staff, you know, head to toe or same, since they start until the end is, this is fundamental uh, to have a, this coordinator. It's like a manager. You have a manager for different stores in the shopping mall. You have uh, five locations. You have five different managers and, and, one, and one director. So you would be the director, you know, but you need one manager for your conventional practice like they are having, your coordinator, and but you need one for your cloud practice as well. Can be the same in the beginning. You don't need it to hire another staff to do that. But again, they need to be trained. They know how to do like we are doing, but we need it to improve. We need it to update ourselves, you know? So I do recommend with the time, you have some person that know a lot about technology and about this virtual protocol, and also even the fees, they're going to work remotely. So they're going to send like a PDF. There is protocol to send the prices. And like I showed before, I shared, there is a lot of like assigned electronic documents or even pay uh, systems that we know that just pay with a credit card. You don't need it to be physically in the places to sign documents and do all this stuff. So you need or a company that help you with that or your own treatment coordinator can help you on this way too. 
And if you think this is Adriano, this is very cool, you know, I'm going to start to do this is very new. Oh my God, it's not, you know, like I'm saying, we tested. I have been doing this even with Invisalign, you know. So back to 2015, look at this video on YouTube. They have, I don't know, that time like almost 13,000 views. So I was even sharing, like, you know, that quick, quick videos how to do it. So they visit not our website and then you set up your virtual first appointment and then you go to have an in-person, just one in-person visiting in our practice and then we get all the exams, the data from the 3D scan and then you get in the little truck there, you go and get the appliance and ship it straight to your practice and then we are going to connect to you and do the supervision okay so yes you can do that of course if in the case most of the time that time the company ship you know for my practice and for my practice we need to double shipment and send for another place so this is not convenient anymore that's what i'm saying our system aligners need to be convenient for us that's why i was moving on and changing to see what is the best for my new business model that i have today in orthodontics so the at-home patient workflow so far here is the same thing the patient seek for orthodontic treatments he go to the internet he find yourself he do the virtual consultations and here there is a little a little bit difference because in these situations I'm saying that he's not, he doesn't want to go or he can go take a plane just to get a 3D scan, okay? So that's why in the beginning, aligner stores, they have a, a stores, you know, or little offices everywhere with a 3D scanner so they could collect the data, you know, and send to the cloud and send to the patients, okay? But we are dentists the orthodontists and we in the same way the patients want to treat with me so what i usually do in brazil for example in some countries they have image centers everywhere that means it's like a hospital or other large uh, cor um, corporate uh, practices dental practices that you can pay for the patients just get the 3d and access rays and they send by mail you know so you can use those image centers if you want. You make a few of them, you know, on the cities, the large cities nearby. You know, like I was saying, you're going to do partnerships with those type of, you know, uh, companies. And the uh, third parts companies going to support you. And even, this is very cool, like I said, you can tell them you have your family dentist, don't you? Your general dentist. Just go over there, you know make a cleaning, you know, and contact them. And then your coordinator can contact them and tell what type of data you need. Some of them, they work with aligners anyway, okay? So you're gonna do even a partnership with them. You're gonna refer for the dentist, but not only in your city, or usually you do in your same shopping mall or in your same block or in your same city. You work with oral surgery and odontics, uh, pediatrician and general dentist is now you have the entire world you know because whatever the patients do you're going to do exactly the same thing you can even call the general dentist and say thank you to help me and by the way can you put some attachments because i want maybe use with some attachments in this case and he can say yes of course so you're not just going to do one appointment do the cleaning put the attachments for example so see how you can start to partnership. And eventually this same doctor, if they have a need to do some digital advanced planning in some complex orthodontist case, you can help them with another service, just doing the planning, you know? And this seems to be kind of weird, but with the digital orthodontist, it's totally normal, this multiple type of services that the orthodontics do nowadays. That's what I said, if you are a soccer player, now you are not just to be the goalkeeper anymore or just playing midfield or a striker. So you definitely gonna work in, and play in different positions if you want, you know, or even just to be the coach, that's probably, you know, 
in the top, you can don't have your physical practice anymore. You know, that's I don't have my practice physical anymore. I merge and sold and all my practice, you know, actually I have uh, today, you know, just my cloud practice when I can offer and play in different positions. And this as a consultant, for example, I'm consulting doctors. Like I'm saying, you can consult a doctor clinically. I am consulting you right now on the coaching point of view, you know? So there is, it's all digital orthodontics, okay? So that's the way you can make partnerships and collect the data. And once you collect the data, you do the planning. And then what you're gonna do, you're gonna do the treatment workflow, okay? So in this case, once the patients get the aligners, you know, in, at, in his own house, you know, you are gonna set up a virtual appointment to get started, okay? And then you talk with the patients and you give the orientations, you do exactly the same way you do clinically in person, but there is no attachments, no elastics, it's easy as can be, it's so fun for them. And then, and then you follow the same protocols because the patient is not gonna go in your practice. So literally you can, if it's just a relapse case, probably you're gonna say, as soon as you finish, you give a call back and we do our final uh, virtual appointments. Or if you need, you can do like two, four, six months if you're talking a, a little bit more aligners uh, in these situations. And then you do the final results you know, and then he can send the pictures and you see everything if you need, or they go back to the, to the dentist to do another cleaning, doing the x-rays, final x-rays days if you need it, and they send back to you, okay? Can you do that? Definitely you can, you know? These are gonna be all your patients? Definitely not, you know? But that's the way to start, you know? And we can compete in a very good way you know, with any other company, aligner company, corporation, or practices in the world, because you are offering what the patients wants so far in a very good way, okay? And you can say, Adriano, I love it. I'm, I can understand. I will start to implement all that. And, um, and about the future, like, because this digital practice of tomorrow, I love it how you think that uh, we can even improve even more this treatment workflow? Well, I'm going to share with you guys right here. Be quiet, you know, because it's something we are just doing the, all the prototypes. It's something very cool, but the future is all the virtual robots. So we have already our own orthodontics robot working with me, okay? So he support me help me to support my patients, okay? So I have a digital, um, I have a robot orthodontist thing working with me, helping to do all these monitoring things, how to give patient orientations, helping in emergencies, and isn't app helping to, to, to interact with the patients. It's awesome, you know, all the robots, the this is a real artificial intelligence. There are platforms, they are gonna interact in the, in, with your patients and help you to supervise, okay? So we have already, our patients are being tested with the robots and, and, and talking with them, you know, and, and, and it's saving us a lot of time that I'm saying. So once you have all of this digital, the next big thing is just so you can scale and can be available 24 seven. So now we have a digital orthodontist, orthodontist robot that is giving the support when I am not there, you know? So we are having this cloud practice with AI support now, and definitely this is the way to go. A simple example, what you can do with the robots is right here, for example. We do this already. So once they get the clear lines in home, the robot, we're gonna do the first contact, patient orientation, help them to get started. And the orthodontist will just do the follow-up 
or when the patients need. So it's amazing. It's amazing, you know, how you can use, you know, the robots nowadays just to help on the support. And then you can go in so many different levels. There is companies that you can invest all that. Of course, this is a little bit far. I'm not talking about that, but I, that's what I want, you know, you guys just to know where to go and how far these are going to be going. And remember, we are doing the artificial intelligence working for us. So we are in control in the same way that we are in control in our clear alignment treatments. I am control with my patients as well. That's the way to go. Okay, the orthodontist and that will be always on control, doesn't matter what type of technology he have. Okay, so to get started, what's the best way to get started? Start to adding virtual appointments gradually. Okay, like I said, can be just to the, the, the first appointment, uh, just the first appointment, maybe virtually, and then you can do just your second. Um, the follow-up appointment after you install the appliance, you know, or just to, to, to share the digital planning. So add gradually, you know, and then you're going to do a hybrid and starting to do two virtual appointments per treatment, three virtual appointments per treatment until you get this at-home protocols, okay? And the at-home, like I say, full supervision, you know, you can start just with those patients that literally they are moving for another city, another country. And this, you see in this way, you're going to stop with the referral, you know, oh, do you know someone in Chicago? Or you know someone is in Sao Paulo because my patient is just moving over there, you know? So you're going to stop. This is a problem that you're not going to have anymore. And I don't have this in a years because I literally say, let's we'll just, we keep the treatment the same way we are. Don't worry. You know, and then I connect like a general dentist if you need, and then you work as a team. It's amazing. It's fantastic. And that's the way to go. And um, let me check. So the bottom line, you know, of this class, these sections, it's make yourself a solution, not a problem. Okay. So don't worry, the, 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 the dentistry practice, the, the, the orthodontics practice, you know, is, is not a, the problem, you know, the clear aligner system is not the problem, you know, direct to consumer, whatever other companies, they are not the problem, okay? Make yourself a solution, brand yourself. And that's what we are gonna do in our next episode. We are gonna talking about the marketing workforce and how you can make yourself, you know, looking great, your brand looking awesome, you know, and you're going to not just update your conventional practice with a digital practice, as now you're going to have your own brand, but on the cloud, you're going to have a cloud practice if you want, and keep your business running for 100 years if you want, because you can even... After, if you want to retire and keep working like I did, you can do very well because I don't take care of patients, you know, uh, physically anymore, but I'm still working every day and doing everything. I love it. So our life is time is awesome, you know, and then, and you keep working. There is no limit actually to work online. So if you are planning to do this, um, um, if you are planning to sell your business and do, maybe you don't sell, you just upgrade it, you know, and if you are starting, just starting the right way, okay, so see you guys, uh, muito obrigado, thank you, namaste, wahe guru, and I see you in our next episode.